Today we're going to address the topic of sterilization of your jars and lids. So Marie, is it even needed? So let's talk about that a second. When is jar sterilization needed? Essentially, as long as you are processing your, your foods for 10 minutes or longer if you're at sea level and then you know with the elevation adjustments for the other levels then you don't actually need it you just need your jars to be hot and you can get your jars hot by putting them in the dishwasher on high or by putting them in the oven at 250 mm -hmm. degrees now if you do determine that for the recipe that you're doing that you need sterilization this is the way that you're going to do it okay now what we're going to do is we're going to take the jars and submerge them in the water in our boiling water bath. So what I do is I like to just kind of stick them on that side, start scooping up the water, let them go in and stick them into the slot in our little basket carrier. So you really want the water to flow on the inside and you want it to be able to be on all sides of it. Mm -hmm. Once you get them filled up with the water and have them covered by about an inch. Then you want to bring it up to a rolling boil and allow it to stay at that for 10 minutes. So let's turn ours on here. While we're getting that up to its rolling boil, let's talk about lid sterilization now. Now lid sterilization is actually something that I would do anytime I was going to do a boiling water bath. If I was going to do a pressure canner, not so much because that's going to that's going to work really well. Yeah. Um, but one of the things that it does, it not only sterilizes it, it also softens that rubber gasket around the edge. Which helps it to seal better. Makes it seal a lot better, definitely. The way we do this is we take a small saucepan and simmer it with, our, with some water in it and our lid on the stove. And that's all there is to it. When you go to take it out, the key lift it up oh one of the things that helps too so that they don't stick together is if you go like one on the upside one on the downside one on the upside one on the downside as you have them stacked up so when you pull it out and go to put it on a jar a lot of times it'll be hot but make sure that you're only touching the outside edge and the top don't touch the bottom portion otherwise you kind of negate what you just did exactly so. okay so we're going to pretend that our jars got up to a rolling boil. Yes, and if you don't know what a rolling boil is, you can look at our water bath canning video and we give you an example of what a rolling boil is in there. And you just dump out the water and put it on a towel so that you're protecting the jar from the cold countertop. As well as your countertop from your wet jars. And now they're nice and hot and ready to go. Generally speaking, if you're going to do something like this, you're going to sanitize it while you're making your fruit mm -hmm. and you pull it out, you've got your hot jars, you put your fruit in it, and then you can process it. But like I said, generally, you don't actually need to sanitize your jars, you just need to heat them up. Just to sum it up, if you're processing your food, for less than 10 minutes at sea level, 15 minutes at 1,000 to 3,000 feet, and you know, so on, yeah, mm -hmm. then you need to sanitize. Otherwise, Don't it bother. just doesn't need to be sterilized. Yeah. If you're enjoying these videos that we're making for you, make sure that you click the subscribe button and ding the bell so that you're notified the next time that we post another video.